I can't believe I finally killed those fucking boars. I killed something! Finally! I know I just saved, but I had to save again because I'm ref I reflexively save constantly. Interesting. Villagers. Okay. March on. Ha ha! A ruddy-faced villager waves to you cheerfully. Hello there, traveler! A good day to you. A good day to us all. The silver dragon himself turned the day into a feast for us. And why might you- you might ask? All because I forgot my fishing gloves at home. What? Dragon? Feast? What's going on here? I am telling you, I went fishing, but I left my fishing gloves at home, so? So I blistered my hands pulling out the nets. So? So I couldn't fish anymore. So? So I had to go hungry. Had to, but didn't. Because fish started jumping out of the water. So? So our great silver dragon took care of me. He must have been watching, thinking, how will this poor sod Aesil get by with blistered hands? How will he fish? What will he eat? How about I send some fish ashore for him? Now I think I'll never bring my fishing gloves again. So? So fish will always jump out of the lake on their own. It'll be great. That's a fucking stupid idea, but... Sure, tell me more about this dragon of yours. He's... Well, he's a huge dragon! A silver one! It's why he's called the Silver Dragon. He's very kind and always helps us. That lake is one of his footprints, filled with water. That's how we got the lake. You have a knack for pointing out the obvious. I've got one of his scales. It's my lucky charm. The fisher proudly holds out a scale held by a string around his neck. Ivar gave it to me. You can search around for him. Maybe he'll give you one too. Tell me more about this situation of yours. Just go to the shore and see for yourself. They jump right out of the water. We can barely keep up with collecting and salting them. We made three barrels since the morning dawned, and our barrels are really big, not just any normal barrels. The fisher puffs out his chest. Dragons that huge don't exist. I mean, what, who the fuck are you to say that, but sure. Maybe not, in other places, but maybe our dragon's one of a kind. The fisher's voice rings with pride. Have you ever actually seen this dragon with your own eyes? Sure did, day before yesterday. Two months ago, too. Bervis the traitor says I'm a fool and it was just a thundercloud, but you shouldn't listen to him. So what exactly has this dragon done to help you? He sent Ivar to us. Well, not sent, really. Ivar was here before. But he was only a hunter, not a dragon's voice. When Ivar became the dragon's voice, everything got better all at once. Most of the bandits disappeared from the roads, monsters stopped attacking us in the woods, and wolves don't even take our cattle anymore. And now there's fish to top it all. Yeah, the silver dragon is the best dragon ever. Okay, you are kind of insane. Let's talk about this hunter. Ivar, yes, he's a good fellow. Who is he? He's the dragon's voice. The silver dragon tells him things, then Ivar tells us. Like when the dragon chased the wolves from our herd. He told Ivar, and Ivar told us. And when he scared the monsters away so they wouldn't attack us, he told Ivar that too. We get all kinds of good news from Ivar. Yeah, that's enough about him. You have any idea who I am? I'm your Baron! That's great, I think. You know what? You should talk to Ivar first. He can ask the Silver Dragon's opinion on the greatness of that, really? Ivar's a, Ivar is an important person here, and the Dragon is even more imper important. What if he doesn't want some strange Baron baroning around here? Are you insane? I'm Aesil! Aesil, whatever the fuck. A fisherman. I mean, I was a fisherman when I did fishing. I don't fish now, so I guess I'm not a fisherman anymore. You are not very smart. No 
stopping now. Silence phone. <laughs> 